Yo, 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 what's poppin' up, boys? It's Ruffle back here again today. How y'all boys doing, bro? Let me know in the comment section how y'all boys doing. In today's video, as you guys can see on the screen, this is called DS4 Windows, right? It's basically like a program or app you could download on your PC to, like, basically lower the input delay on your controller in Fortnite game. So, like, a normal DualShock 4 controller has about 4 milliseconds of input delay, and with this program, it decreases all the way to 1 0.7 1.5 around there which is a hella change it's a big ass difference you feel me but the only thing bad about it is you got to charge it but to be honest it's kind of worth it because charging it you could literally charge it and play at the same time but yeah so if you guys want to know how to set this up you could go over to m16 video this this is the founder of it this is the one i copied from so just yeah look at his video uh i should link it in the description below he told you how to like set up everything the tutorial and everything but the thing is like if you guys are like me i I used to have problems like all right so it worked the first time right then i turned off my pc then i hop back on and my pc couldn't like detect the controller like if i press the playstation home button it just did not like detect it at all so nothing popped up here it would say na right and also when i try to disconnect my controller from from here right if i try to disconnect it it would say remove field which was a problem right so i couldn't get it back on but I found the fix to it and I've been found the fix and I decided to make this video because I feel like other people will go through the same problem as me. So I fixed it. Uh, hopefully this does remove. I'm going to go through it like step by step process with you guys. Everything I do step by step. Make sure you copy exactly. So look. So for some people that will say remove field right. So when it's remove field all you want to do is X out of this. You want to click right on the windows tab right there. Go to device manager. You want to go to view show hidden devices you want to first you go step by step if it says wireless controller down here you take that you click it highlight it uh and then you go to where is it you just highlight it right click and delete right after that you go to generic not intel generic first highlight right click uninstall or you can press the x over here look this is what i do click it uninstall uninstall right and it's gonna say say no and then it's gonna say Intel wireless Bluetooth device this is the main thing right so you're gonna highlight it X uninstall right after this is done all you have to do is X out of that and restart your PC but you do not want to press restart you're gonna press shut down do not press restart shut down right I don't know why this makes a difference but it does shut down okay so I'll be right back with you guys when I'm back and I'll catch you Alright boys, we back. I turned on my power again. I turned on my PC and we're back at the home screen. So listen, step by step, this is what we're going to do, right? So we're going to go down to the bottom left. We're going to type troubleshoot settings. Just type TR, troubleshoot will pop up. Then you go down to Bluetooth right here. Run the troubleshooter. And you know you did this right. If it says Intel wireless Bluetooth, if, that the thing, if that's the one that comes up, that means you did it right. So look, yep. We install Intel wireless Bluetooth. Apply this fix and this uh if you guys didn't update your drivers you do want to update that but i know i updated mine so i'm gonna press next <coughs> and then i'm gonna close the troubleshooter it does not matter if it says not fixed don't worry about that just close the troubleshooter you're gonna x out of this you can go down here and type again services press on services and then you're gonna see bluetooth audio gateway settings you're gonna see support services and user support services right so those three are the main thing you want to look for. So you're going to right click on it. Then you're going to go down to properties. What's wrong with my mouse, bro? You're going to go down to properties. Then you're going to make sure that says start, right? If it says start, that means you're doing good. Make sure it starts enabled. And this one should not say start. So you should have to press start. Yep. We did a right start. Then you're just going to press OK. What is wrong with my mouse? press ok you're gonna x out of this now all you have to do is do the normal thing go into your settings and just turn on your playstation controller Let's see why is it bro my pc stay doing this bro your bluetooth should be on and if it's on literally all you have to do is just press down on the home button and share at the same time and connect your controller and it should work and once your controller is connected you just go to ds4 windows ds4 windows click on whatever and it should come up with one millisecond instead of like 20 but yeah that's pretty much it for the video guys i'm sorry that i couldn't show you guys the second part because i don't know what's wrong with my pc i don't know why bluetooth is not enabled but that's how you connect it i promise it works 
If you guys have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section below and I'll try my best to help you out. I spent hours and hours on trying to find this, but yeah, I found it. And it's pretty much it for the video, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. And peace. Love y'all. Bye.